Hey YouTube, Ian here with Atkins Nature Aquariums. We got some tissue cultures, plants, and my lovely assistant, my girlfriend, Caitlin. She's going to be taking the plants out and doing all the work. I'm filming. So she's got a plate with the stickers of the plants. You want to show what plants we got? We got some Ludwigia. Let's see. Ludwigia glanduloso. Oh, the camera's up. <laughs> Pretty cute. Little plant. We got some... What did I grab? That's parrot's feather, I think. Parrot's feather. Tissue culture parrot's feather. And then we got some Laganandra. Eboldii. What's it say? Carolensis. Yes. This is a cool plant. Yeah. So yeah, we have a bowl with lukewarm water. You don't really want it too warm, but you want it a little warm to soften up the gel that is inside these tissue cups. And these are ADA tissue cups. But we've help. also been having them sit out overnight. So we, uh, a lot of the gel has already started to liquidize. Right, and you wanna, if you wanna store tissue cultures, you can for about two weeks in a moderately warm area with a good light over them and they should be fine and so she's going to squeeze and plop it out just like that we're just gonna let the plants kind of separate themselves from the gel You do have to kind of squeeze the gel a little bit to uh, mush it up and get the get it away from the root system. But it's okay if not every little tiny piece is gone. And you want to try and do this in a bowl, not in the sink, because if you get plant clippings and just down the drain, it can go into your natural waterways, and that's a no-no. We don't need any more invasive plants in our name native waterways. So try and do it all in a bowl. And you do want to be somewhat gentle, but you don't need to be like overly gentle. And you don't need to dechlorinate it. But this one is the Ludwigia. This is what... Ooh. pieces look like. Oh. Yeah. And they will turn more red once they're in the water for a while and start getting their root column back. Got quite a few good little clumplets. How many clumps did we get from this one culture? One, two... We've got at least six pieces from one culture. Six pieces from one cup. That's pretty good. Let's go to the Laganandra. Laganandra. Let's see that in the cup. Focus. That's a cool plant. It'll get a dark red color with and it, some green to it. This one does look a little bit drier because the seal on it had broken, but that is okay. It will be fine. But again, you just plop it out. You can see a lot of the gel has kind of melted into one little area. Pull that one 
Good little rinse. That is Laganandra carolensis. Has some beautiful leaves down here on the bottom coming in already. And this one we know we only got about two, I mean three clumps out of, but that's okay. We're gonna try and grow one. Grow one in, immersed in a jar, and then she's gonna get one, and I'm gonna put one in the rimless tank. Some nice, beautiful little pieces. And now, time for the parrot's feather. Let me see if I can. I cannot pronounce that, and I will not try. <laughs> Alright. Myrophilium. Myrophilum. Matogrosense. Matogrosense? It's a Mario phylum. I saw it and I needed it. doesn't have a whole lot of gel in it. It's more so just... Oh, they use, that one's one of the uh, watery types of um, nutrient fertilizers that they use. Yep, it's all just one little ring of plants. So yeah, we can grab some scissors and chop that up. So. So we got the aquascape and tweezers. Scissors. Scissors. Now I'm just trying to find the right spot. I think it's right in the middle of this. Yeah, I would just split it in like four pieces. Yeah. I'm just trying not to hit like right off. You know, it's like cutting hair, you gotta separate it. <laughs> probably just split this up with your hands. I'd split it right down there in the middle. Well, if you look, this root system, that's a solid piece. That's the actual plant. Mm. That's what all of this is growing off of. Yeah. So, essentially... Mario Phylum. It's so absolutely cool. gorgeous. That is a cool looking plant. This one will have four clips of. Algae-free, pest snail-free, and they are exact replicas. They're all clones, kind of. 
something works. But there's all your tissue culture plants, how to prepare them. Got your Lagenandra carolensis. Yes. Ludwigia glandulosa. And Mariophyllum meadow grossens. Grossensis. Or what we think is parrot's feather. <laughs> parrot's feather. Yep. Well, that's it. Bye for now and see okay. you guys next time.